Hope it's good. So page number 54, it's Sunday, it's Monday today. And we are doing homeostasis, that is lesson five, unit one. Okay, it's lesson five, unit one, page 54. So in my yesterday's class, I discussed about photosynthesis. Photo means light, and synthesis means to prepare. I told you both are exactly opposite. Then you have carbon dioxide and sugar here, or carbon dioxide and I told water. <laughs> I told water, right? So what is release? Miss, why don't you write? Sugar. Miss? Huh? Why don't you write? I can't understand it. All right, wait a second. Okay, water, and your sugar. Water plus carbon dioxide, it, in the presence of sunlight, it releases sugar and oxygen. Now, when I say respiration, because we are inhaling oxygen, we are inhaling oxygen, we get oxygen from plants, we get sugar from what we eat, and then we release out carbon dioxide. We release out carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Or, but the plant release, miss, but the plant release out oxygen, right? Yes, plant, that's what it's coming. The plants help us and we help the plants. Yes, that's why they say that photosynthesis, this is a continuous process. This is a continuous process one by one, okay? We need yeah. plants for... They help each other. Need us for carbon dioxide. Did you write this? Good. This equation, yeah. inshallah, next lesson, next quiz. When this lesson is coming in the quiz, I will surely ask. It's very important. Any exam, any test, they will definitely ask this equation. It's very, very, very important. Okay? You can put a star mark okay. for that. Miss, uh, I put in the photosynthesis and cellular respiration star. Yes. As I told you, it will definitely be asked. Now, yesterday, when I was teaching you mitosis, do you remember some steps in the mitosis? Do you remember some steps in mitosis? Yeah. Thing, DNA is copied. I told you to remember. First thing, DNA is? A copy. Then... They become two. Um, it will become new cell. And in order to become divide, the DNA need to be packaged. This packages are yeah. this and chromosomes. It's chromosome. called as chromosomes. Chromosome. Now, equal number of chromosomes are separated. Now, these chromosomes they are separated in equal number. And when they separate, the nucleus splits to nuclei. Because nucleus is singular, nuclei is plural. When the nucleus split, it split into two identical nuclei, exactly the same nuclei. And this whole process is called as mitosis. The whole process is called as mitosis. Then the rest of the cell divides, resulting into two identical cells. Because the two new cells have DNA identical to that found in the original, as I told you, father and daughter, why our genes resemble? Because we have the same DNA as my father, right? They're exactly identical to the found in the original cell. All the cells in an organism have the same genetic material. When I'm talking about the genetic material, they are exactly same, okay? Now, the question here is, why is it important for the DNA to be copied before the cell division. I told you that before the cell divide, the DNA must copy, must be copied. Why, why is it? DNA needs to be copied so that the two nuclei have the same number of chromosomes. If the DNA doesn't copy from before, it will not have exactly same. In order to get the exactly same number of chromosomes, DNA need to 
copy. Then nuclei, you know that they, they divide in same number of chromosome as the original cell, right? Now, next question. How do new cells form in plants and animals? How? In both plants and animals. First thing, girls, listen to this carefully. This is the same thing what I explained to you. The DNA is copied and separated into new nuclei. You know that the nuclei divides in exactly uh, half. In plants, a cell plate separates the two new cells. In animal, the cell membrane pinches through the middle of the cell to form two nuclei, two new cells. Girls, when I show you in the diagram, when I show you in the drawing, you will understand more that how the cell membrane, like, like imagine girls, I'll try to draw and show you. Like imagine, you know that this, this is a cell membrane, right? This is a cell membrane. The outer side is a membrane. This cell membrane pinches through the middle. Pinches means it gets this way. It pinches through the middle. Now you understand what they're trying to say? Do you understand? The cell membrane, this was the cell membrane. When I try to hold something from the middle, it pinches. If you pinch something from the middle for both the side, it becomes two new cells. Am I correct? Do you see here? Yeah, yeah. They become two new cells and they separate exactly from the middle. This is what happens in animal cell. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Can I go to another page? Before another page, yeah. please say me what is mitosis, what happens? Before the cell divides, what is copied? DN DNA, DNA is copied. 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 The next step? Will become is uh, two new cells. Two new cells. But then it has to nuclei. be packaged. Yes, and the package packaged, is called But uh, then it's uh, a chromosome. Yes, and those chromosomes are exactly the same in number. They get half. Okay, now you will understand more when you see the diagrams here. When you see the pictures here, you will understand more well. But your, your grade, now in this lesson, you don't have much about it. Later, inshallah, maybe the unit two, you have more in detail. All right? Now here, okay. what is the meaning of active transport and passive transport? Just a second, girls. I think I must, um, I'm, I will ask you to do an activity tomorrow. Girls, the word diffusion, before explaining the passive transport, I want to explain the word diffusion. Let me draw something and show you, and we will do this activity also. We will do this activity also. Okay, I can draw here, no problem. Girls, like example, I took a glass of water. A glass, an empty glass. Okay, I took an empty glass. Water is there inside. Water is there inside. And now, you take a color, maybe a pink color, and you try to put drops of pink color inside. Don't you think so they get easily mixed? And the color changes here to light pink. It become pink, right? The yeah, Miss, if the color was thick, it won't mix that quick. Now imagine that that's the, the same thing. But if it's like water. When your mom's like making tea, the water is colorless. And then you add the tea bag. What happened? This is diffusion from higher concentration, from higher concentration. Do you know the meaning of concentration? Do you know the meaning, meaning of concentrated? Even last year- Concentrate I, like attention? No, I will, I will better, I will show you on the screen, white screen. Okay. Now, Like 
this is a glass and this is a glass or a tumbler okay in both i have in both i have same amount of water same amount of water remember with this you will never forget the what do you call as the meaning of concentration never you will forget or concentrated okay i told you that i have now in this i add maybe five spoons of tang and in this i add two spoons of tang you know tang yeah yeah now tell me which one is more concentrated Tell me which one is more concentrated. And here I add two spoon of tang. Tell me which one is concentrated more. Which one is actually giving you uh, more? When I add more tang powder or when I add more sugar to it, this is the jar which is more concentrated. More. concentrated and this one i can call this is diluted all this is diluted girls the word concentrated means more solute do you know the meaning of solute and solvent more solute this means it they have more solute more amount of solute like example if i had 10 spoons of sugar and the other one has 4 spoons of sugar which one is more concentrated Yes, Vatin. If I add to one glass ten spoon of sugar, and the other one I add ten spoons of sugar, and the other one I add five spoons. Tell me which one is more concentrated, the ten spoons or the five spoons? The ten spoons. The ten spoon one. similarly girls same thing you have to know for the diffusion word that the particles will move from higher concentration to lower concentration if i say you water and ink which one is higher concentration the ink is higher concentration now when i put the ink in water the particles are moving from higher concentration to lower concentration the particles are moving from higher to lower example you have a garlic piece when your garlic piece you are holding it did not smell but when you cut it the particles from the garlic it moves to the lower concentration it moves into the air and it gives you the smell when you have your perfume bottle it is highly concentrated inside but when you press and the drops come out it goes into like see this was like see this was the perfume bottle wait a minute okay this was your perfume bottle and you had so much perfume inside after maybe see maybe the molecules are so close inside they're so after i and in the air of course in the air it's gas the molecules are very far the molecules are very far now imagine the droplets from the perfume it goes in don't you think it will spread it will go far away so from the more concentration it moves to the low concentration from the more concentration high concentration it moves to the low concentration this is called diffusion girls we can even do activity if i was there i would have taken you to the lab and shown you that if i put ink drops into water so ink drops they are highly concentrated when i put to the lower concentration this procedure is called as diffusion did you understand little bit girls at least something yeah okay the movement of what is passive transport will read now 
the movement of particles across a cell membrane without the use of energy the movement of particles across a cell membrane without the use of energy by cell is called passive transport the cell does not require any energy that's called passive transport for example when a tea bag is added to a cup of water the molecules in the tea will eventually spread throughout the water i told you in the tea bag see the molecules were packed here they were packed inside the tea bag now they eventually spread okay like if i draw here again i will show you one more time guys see it last time i will try to draw with different colors and show you here these are the droplets of water but these are maybe the droplets of tea so before when you put the tea bag the droplets was inside like this but afterwards yeah the little things in the tea bag the droplets spread inside the water right later the droplets they spread inside water and they eventually they get mixed so this was high concentration and this is low concentration so from high to low this is called as diffusion diffusion is the movement of molecules from high concentration to low remember guys d s we highlight this l yes highlighted d s l yes diffusion means movement of molecules from high concentration to low concentration low concentration diffusion is movement of particles from high concentration to low concentration okay okay girls now okay this is actually the opposite some nutrients move in a, into a cell by diffusion this is how it occurs in my body in the cell it enters like diffusion some waste products move out of the cell by diffusion even out of the cell they go like this osmosis is diffusion of water through a semi permeable membrane just remember this definition as this that this is diffusion of water through a many molecules are too large to diffuse through the cell membrane some of these molecules enter and exit cells through protein, protein channels when when they don't have enough you know a procedure to go through this diffusion they choose through protein channels they have special channels girls again this one don't go much in detail and areas of higher to areas of lower the process usually requires no energy give girls just know about diffusion and osmosis this line till membrane and that's it what just you have to know that diffusion is the movement of molecule from higher concentration to lower concentration next osmosis is the diffusion of water through a semi permeable membrane because it cannot go through diffusion it will take the other process that is called as osmosis yes i didn't understand what mean osmosis i didn't understand that it is the opposite of osmosis dear they did not write the definition here so the osmosis lower is to higher the, is it is from lower the osmosis to is the is the opposite of uh, diffusion yes But okay. in this grade, they will not tell you the definition. Actually, see, higher to lower concentration, it is diffusion, and from lower to higher concentration, it is osmosis. This is actually in science what we learned. Okay. Okay. All the smells, what they spread in the air, is osmosis. Sorry, diffusion, because you know that. if onion is there it is highly concentrated when you cut onion the droplets go into lower concentration that is into the air and you can smell the onion right now place a check mark next to the box that describes diffusion and explain this answer this i will do tomorrow and i will go to the next page this page i'm going to do tomorrow the active transport okay i will do it tomorrow because it's opposite of passive transport in passive transport you studied about diffusion and 
osmosis. Active transport is exactly opposite of passive transport. I will explain tomorrow. Now, endocytosis and exocytosis. Again, this is a new thing for you. Girls, if you want right now, you can just write question answer, answer 13 right now. Write answer number 13. And so that I can end up my class with this now. If I explain you more, you will get confused because this is something.